Hello and welcome to Top Gear India. You must be wondering how we got here. Well, today's journey was truly epic, mm -hmm. and I must say that you guys are in for a treat. You're late. Is the camera rolling? Yes, it is. Let's get to work. Let's go. Welcome to Top Gear India. What's the agenda for today? So the Fronx is a good car. I know that. You know that. Mm -hmm. We need to tell these guys that the Fronx is a good car. And how are you going to tell them? So I've come up with three different locations, three different tests, basically, and we're going to see if the Fronx can fare well through all three of them. And what are these three locations? Just wait and watch. For now, I'll tell you more about the first one. Okay. okay. Maximum city, Mumbai. We're going to look for the worst speed breakers, the baddest potholes, mm -hmm. the tightest U-turns, <laughs> and the most challenging parking spots to see if the Fronx can cope with all of them. It sounds like a car video game right now. Yeah, the GTA Mumbai edition, right? <laughs> Fair enough. I see a nice speed breaker. Why do you think we are here? So, is this where our first test is going to be? Let us do it. Uh -huh. Well, let's see where that enthusiasm takes us. Hopefully not in the air. Uh, and hopefully not behind another car. There's the speed breaker and... Wow! <laughs> I mean, again, ordinarily, you wouldn't take a speed breaker that fast. But with the frog, you're allowed to miss it. On to the next. On to the next. Challenge 2, U-turns. Oh, instead of U-turns, why don't we do a 360 degree rotation eh? on a narrow street like the one we are currently driving on? Okay. More realistic, right? 360 degree rotation on a narrow road. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Looks like a good spot. Yeah. Oh, this is really tight. Mm -hmm. 360 degree camera helps. The light steering helps as well. And. And, 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 and. Wow. That's the Time. fastest U turn of my <laughs> life ever. Oh, wow. It did feel nimble. I mean, that. yeah, very light, but very easy. I mean, the visibility is good. The light steering, as I just mentioned, everything is very easy. Um, you just have to like work, you work your steering wheel and you're out of difficult situations. So people who are looking to drive this car in the city and you know, hustle around like shh, 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 be the, be the supercar driver in the city, you can. On to the next challenge. So we have come up with the third challenge of showcasing potholes, showcasing bad roads and showcasing horrible stones everywhere. So initially we thought we'll only attack um, a pothole ridden section of road, mm -hmm. but then we were like, yeah, that's yeah. too basic. <laughs> so here we are on one of the worst roads you could find around in Mumbai. I feel the suspension being soft comes in very handy here. Yeah. It undertakes a lot of bumps Yes, and it remains stable, but how it does, does it feel from the driving perspective? Okay, so one thing I would like to point out here is that the road, this road also has sharp stones, big sharp stones. But then none of that is being transferred inside the cabin. It's all very quiet. Obviously, you can see us moving around, but then you would not hear any thuds or, you know, those loud, annoying suspension no noises. So all of that is very well taken care of in the frogs. Also, the ground clearance is not an issue, which mm -hmm. means you can go over these crates and these undulations without worrying too much about your car scraping from underneath. I wouldn't disagree. The suspension is keeping me quite comfortable. Like this movement that you see is not even telling half the story. Like I'm, yeah, this road is bad. This road is very bad. Hey, bro, 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 bro. I just found a fourth challenge. Yep. I just found a fourth challenge. That looks tight. That looks tight enough. Okay. In three, two, one, go. All right. Reverse. Uh huh. Started inside. Mm -hmm. Nice angle. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Oops. Oh, that nice and light steering wheel comes with handy when you're doing such shenanigans. Mm -hmm. This is a busy street. Yes. It took us five seconds to slot the frogs in. Obviously, the 360 degree camera did help. The easy steering wheel did help. The easy visibility outside did help. And precision moves. <laughs> Precision moves. Yeah, obviously, did not see that. <laughs> I mean, that was beautiful. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> yeah. What's next? Like the view, guys. We are in Tamini Ghat. It's quite nice. Beautiful roads right in front. 
Are we going to attack them soon? Yes, we are. Now, before we get to the second location, I would like to point out that the drive up until the second location was again quite nice in the frogs. There's a lot of chatter on the internet about how, uh, you know, the ground clearance and the suspension of the frogs helps it be a better SUV. It is an SUV. A compact SUV in that sense, but it is also a very good cruiser. Out on the highway, that one liter engine is capable enough for you to do legal speeds and all the overtaking around it. You have paddle shifters to take control, and the visibility is good. Obviously, the suspension is soft, so the undulations and those sudden portals or sudden speed breakers are taken care of very well. So, I'm quite excited to bring what the Bronx has to offer to a road like this. Oh, <laughs> I know, right? Let's get to it. Okay, all right. I think the best part about this is that you don't have to play with the weight. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like as you're approaching the corner, you know that the car will be able to change direction. The weight will not, you know, take it in a different and direction. Yeah, make yeah, it yeah. Understand. make it understand. Yeah. The nimbleness of the fronts does help. It's also extremely helpful when you're accelerating out of the corner because again, no weight. And this is not an overly powerful engine, but then again, because of the 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 taut chassis and the weight being contained to the very center of it. Um, you can accelerate hard out of these corners. Even for a factor that it has such a big ride height, mm. and still it like it doesn't feel that SUV-ish. Like you know the body roll, it's very contained. I it is. It is. You know, manual control of this automatic gearbox. It lets you hold the gears. Yeah. It's not upshifting. It's not upshifting until I do this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Let us downshift a little. <laughs> See, these these are honest reactions, guys. Oh. I'm not trying to fake it. Honestly, uh -huh. a little bit more power. Okay. Not power technically, um, a little more torque. Okay. Uh, that is something I wish this booster jet engine offered. I love diesel engines, right? Uh -huh. And that torque characteristic is missing from this engine. So you really have to wait for the engine to build up all those revs to access all, all of that power. That is not a problem because this is a free revving engine. It's a Maruti Suzuki engine. It's a Japanese engine. Hey, it's Japanese. Yeah, they love to be revved. Yeah. Like, I mean, the red line is sitting above 6000 and it is happy to reach uh, 6000 with every gear. That is not a problem. It's accessible performance. I mean, anything more than this, you would never be able to access, be it in the city or on a nice, interesting section of road. So this is accessible performance, which is good. This is what you can use and this is rewarding. You know, every time you drive your car hard, you will have this smile on your face. Now we are on the street. I'm gathering speed. I would just have loved this this process to be a little quicker. But I'm not complaining. I am not complaining at all. I think our section two is coming to an end. And the road itself leads to section three. And which is a surprise that I've kept for you. This is location three, test three. Mr. Vivul Paneta, how are you finding it? Oh, when you said it's going to be nice, I thought it would be nice. This is bad. This is hell. <laughs> this is this is mental. But it's also fun. Yeah, it's like a rally stage. <laughs> it truly is. I mean, there is absolutely no other soul, no other vehicle here. Uh -huh. uh, we've just got this very bad section. Very, very <laughs> bad section of road to our house. Um, and you've got the frogs. Uh -huh. The good thing is the suspension of the prongs doesn't give to beep about, <laughs> about the road. roads <laughs> and neither do we. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually do. But then since the prongs is uh, you know taking us places with absolutely no complaints, mm -hmm. we're having fun in the process. Wait a minute. What is what <laughs> really? Yes. That's a tunnel. Yes. It's a long tunnel. It's an yes. arrow straight long tunnel. You knew about that? I did. We are speaking, but uh, our faces are not lit. Yeah. So let's switch on the lights. Hey guys! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hello from inside the tunnel. And we are finally we don't need on our lights the anymore. other side of it. Oh yeah. Wow. That was a very nice element. Bro, take this turn. Take this turn. Take this turn. Here? Yeah. That's not a road a car can take. That's a road a frogs can take. Oh. 
you think it's still just a car after doing all this you i think mean go there definitely there are going to be some limitations the act is steep so, well, i hope there's something at the end of it well it's a surprise it is it's going to be a viewpoint right <laughs> i mean it's going to be like any and every other viewpoint right wait till you go to the viewpoint oh, 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 oh. oh look at those peaks uh huh Oh, we are on the cliff. Yes. I've parked just a few <laughs> feet away from the cliff. A uh-huh. few inches away. I've parked just a few inches away from the cliff. So, we've got three tests, three different sections, three different locations. I totally forgot about the agenda for the day. Just look at this. beautiful location man and it is so quiet so serene i'd swear see at the start i did say that the fronx is a good car and i already know about that and so do you and a lot of other people who already drive the fronx but then today my opinions of the fronx have changed altogether because i've never really experienced this car in such a fashion you know never driven it so hard on such bad roads you know i was already recommending this car to a lot more people i think today i'm going to consider buying this for myself because this car is fun this car is genuinely fun and also at a very good cost it just makes it really good really 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 fantastic what is your take though i think for a second i forgot it was an suv that was i don't mean it in a wrong sense hmm. it did all suv true but the biggest surprise for me was when we were in tamni ghat hmm. the roads got narrower hmm. the weight the nimbleness of the car came out hmm. which suv does the things nimbly as it does as a compact suv and that is what the fronx is well i think it's a true definition to be compact yes and that is a element that a lot of city users are going to appreciate when they are parking it in those you know tight spots and getting out of those cramped parking spaces it's such a headache when you are driving a sedan but this has good visibility you know where the boot ends you know where the bonnet is it's all very nice and flat and also that 360 degree camera This is currently the only car in Maruti stable that has this engine and that is why this stands out. It stands out because this is a turbocharged 1 liter engine. You can have it with a 6-speed automatic or a 5-speed manual and it is a Maruti. So a lot of people don't really associate driving dynamics to a Maruti but then this brings oh. that this brings that to the table and a lot more. What a beautiful format. The Fronx is a great car guys. <laughs> yeah. I don't know.